Welcome to the Daily Challenge. I'm your coach, Po Shen Lo. So I hear you want to learn algebra. Algebra is the language of math, which helps us to keep track of calculations, some of which can be very complicated. It also helps us reason about relationships between measurements, such as speeds and distances. Since algebra is such an important subject, I split it into a few courses. I wanted to make sure that as many people as possible could understand this course series. In this first course, I'll focus on demystifying some of the basic algebraic concepts that are known to be the most confusing and which are all you really need to start learning other areas of math, like geometry and combinatorics. We'll take a deep dive into fractions, ratios, proportions, and percentages. I'll assume that you have already seen a bit about these concepts before. In this class, we'll have fun looking at surprising coincidences, and you'll discover creative new ways to think about these concepts. Even though fractions and ratios might sound basic, I'm spending a whole course on them because they're extremely important for all subjects in math. Actually, this course alone provides enough background to start our specially designed course series that systematically covers geometry, combinatorics, number theory, and probability. You won't even need to wait to finish a normal full-year algebra course first. Fractions, ratios, proportions, and percents also amount to a large portion of the problems on middle school math competitions such as Math Counts and the AMC8. And when they appear, they often need more creativity to solve. We'll learn that here. By the end of this course, you'll have seen these foundational concepts from so many perspectives that you'll have the confidence to tackle any question. And you'll have a strong foundation on which to build all of math. As usual, I won't tell you how to do each problem at first. That might feel unfair if you're used to having the teacher show you a way before you follow. But trust me, this is actually the best way to learn. You should fight with each problem yourself first. I've very carefully arranged the problems in an order so that each problem pushes the limit of your ability. And I'll give you hints as you think, so that you might actually figure out some of them before I show you. Even if you don't, you'll discover that by really thinking about the problems before we talk, you will actually understand everything better. And you might even find out that you were so close, just missing one idea. That's great you'll also get the chance to sit down and try some weekly problem sets which were carefully designed to help you deepen your understanding even more. The best way to learn math is to do problems which are tough but rewarding. After you do the weekly problem sets, look over the solutions, even to problems that you solved correctly. Because as you will see in this course, there are always surprisingly clever ways to do every problem. At any time during this course, if you have any questions, please use the discussion feature to ask and answer in our community. Are you ready to become a confident master of some of the hardest foundational concepts of math? See you in the first challenge.